What's up guys, Roman from RNS Entertainment, here with a topic discussion video for Game of Thrones Season 5. As many of you probably know, they're doing a lot of scenes in Dorne in Season 5, the home of Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Dorne is actually my favorite region of Westeros from the book series, and there's a lot of cool stuff that goes on here. They're definitely cutting a few things out and switching and rearranging some things, namely with the absence of Arianne Martell, so we'll see how her story is adapted. I may actually make a topic discussion discussion video talking about that, how I think they're going to adapt the Arianne Martell story, whether or not they're going to bring Ilaria into the mix, how Jaime and Braun being in Dorne are going to play into it, so let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see that video. What I want to talk about now though is the addition of a few characters that I've talked a little bit about in my Oberyn Martell character spotlight. I definitely recommend you guys go check out that video. It's a really comprehensive look at Oberyn's history and backstory. There's a lot of stuff they didn't include in the show, so if if you want to know more about Oberyn Martell, his ties to his family, his history with the Lannisters, you know, all sorts of stuff, go check that out. I'll put that up as a link in the video as an annotation so you can click on over to that. But on to the topic of this video, Oberyn Martell's Bastard Daughters, also known as the Sand Snakes. Namely, the three oldest Sand Snakes who are the only ones slated to be on the show so far. Game of Thrones has put out a few videos on the Sand Snakes and they've been heavily featured in the trailers and they've been trying to hype up these characters. From these videos and from the first looks at the three oldest Sand Snakes, Obara, Nymeria, and Tyene, we can instantly see a lot of differences from the books, but a lot of similarities as well. I'm going to talk about the differences and their histories, their backstories from the books in this video, as well as a few of the other Sand Snakes that I find interesting and possibly including them in the show in the future. First off, let's talk about Obara. Obara Sand is the oldest of the Sand Snakes, born to Oberyn Martell and an unnamed whore from Old Town. Old Town is a port city in Westeros, located southwest of Highgarden, the seat of the Tyrell family, and west from Dorne. Other than being one of the oldest cities in Westeros, it's also one of the largest, and home to the Citadel, where people go to learn to become maesters. Oberyn Martell himself spent a lot of time in Old Town, and even forged six links of the maester's chain before he got bored and quit. I went into this in detail in my Oberyn Martell character spotlight, but I did want to mention Old Town and give a little bit of background towards that, because I am I'm going to be talking about it again when I talk about one of the Sand Snakes that isn't featured on the show. But back to Obara. When Oberyn came to claim Obara as his bastard, because as we know, Oberyn always takes care of his offspring, whether they're his legitimate children or not, the mother did not want Oberyn to take Obara with him. He then slapped the mother who started crying and threw a spear down at their feet. Oberyn then asked Obara which weapon she would like to choose, the spear or the tears, and she chose the spear, going on to become probably the most warlike of the Sand Snakes. We definitely see this reflected in the show's version of Obara Sand. She is going to be wielding a spear primarily as her weapon, although the Obara in the books also used a whip and a dagger and a shield as well. Obara is hardened, strong, quick to temper, and described as a big-boned woman with less feminine features than some of her half-sisters. I actually think they did really well with their casting for Obara. Next to Nymeria, they have kind of a two sides of the same coin thing going on, which is very similar from the books. Although Obara and Nymeria are equals in battle, Nymeria is generally considered a lot more feminine, a lot more attractive, and this even translates over into her fighting style. This is where we get a big difference from the books. They seem to have given Nymeria's multiple dagger fighting style to Tyene and moved Obara's whip to Nymeria. Nymeria is the second oldest of the Sand Snakes, born to Oberyn Martell and an unnamed noblewoman from Volantis. Volantis is one of the more well-off of the free cities of Essos. Essos is the continent where Daenerys is right now. You know, you've got Dorne and King's Landing and the Wall, all that stuff going on on one continent, and then you've got the free cities, Slaver's Bay, etc. over on Essos. I actually believe that Talisa, the wife of Robb Stark on the show, was also from Volantis, because it's a big difference than the Jane Westerling he married in the books. Switching to Miria's fighting style for the show is understandable, and again, I think this is a really good casting for her. She has been described as having lighter skin in the books, but she's also been described as having olive skin, and judging from how Talisa looked in the show, I think she's got a good representation of what the Volantis area might look like. Last up for the Sand Snakes that will be appearing on the show, Tyene Sand. 
And this is where things get a little iffy, because Tyene, first off, is supposed to be a white chick. Tyene is the daughter of Oberyn Martell and an unnamed Septa. Septa are the female clergy members of the Faith of the Seven, you know, one of the most important churches in Westeros. Tyene in the books is described as having white skin, golden hair, and blue eyes, and dressing like a Septa. The Tyene we've seen on these promo things from Game of Thrones is the utter and complete opposite of that. Tyene in the books is supposed to be pious looking, sweet looking, you know, and that's supposed to mask a dangerous air about her. She's actually one of the scariest of the Sand Snakes and takes after Oberyn in his love of poison. I also want to go ahead and point out that even though we don't know where Tyene's mother is from, she is visually representative of a large portion of Dorne. Although show viewers may only think of Dornish people as kind of Hispanic or Middle Eastern, you know, tan, olive-skinned people, there's a large portion of the Dornish population that is white. You know, you've got a big mixture of different um, ethnicities there, and the coastal people of Dorne are pretty much all white people. So you can already tell that the Tyene that we're seeing here is not the Tyene from the books. She is not dressed chaste at all. She is not dressed like a Septa at all. You know, she's actually kind of more revealing than the other two sisters. She's been given Nymeria's kind of dagger fighting style from the books, and Tyene in the books doesn't even fight. You know, she's not a fighter, she's not a warrior, and that makes her unique, it sets her apart. You know, she's supposed to be the dangerous one that you would never see as dangerous. This sweet, innocent, pure little girl that is actually a master of poisons and is feared by even the maesters of Dorne. The Tyene in the show almost seems like an extension of her sisters. She seems like another Oberyn light, you know, another warrior from Dorne that's gonna use poison blades and wear copper armor. And I mean, that's cool and all, but we already have two of those. I thought the Tyene in the books added a lot to the Dornish family. I thought she was interesting in her own right. And the one in the show, from what I can tell so far, just does not bring that same unique quality. So now that I talked about the three oldest Sand Snakes, the ones that we've seen are coming to Game of Thrones Season 5, I want to talk about one Sand Snake in particular that we've heard no mention of bringing onto the show. There are eight Sand Snakes in total. The four youngest, Elia, Obella, Dorea, and Loreza, are the daughters of Oberyn and his paramour Ilaria Sand, who we saw a lot in Season 4 and may come back to play a big role in Season 5. I've already talked about the three oldest Sand Snakes, Obara, Nymeria, and Tyene in this video, and as you can probably tell, this doesn't add up. That's right, there is one more elder Sand Snake that has not been mentioned as being cast for the show, and she's my personal favorite, Sorella Sand. Sorella Sand is the daughter of Oberyn Martell and an unnamed traitor from the summer islands. The Summer Islands are an area of ebony-skinned people where both sex and battle are highly ritualized and viewed as holy acts. Like her mother, Sorella Sand has dark skin, although she shares the famous widow's peak and sharp eyes of Oberyn Martell. She bears a strong curiosity as her main character trait and is also a talented archer. We actually see Sorella Sand in the books pretending to be a boy in Old Town, going under the name Alaras the Sphinx. Get it? Alaras? Sorella backwards. If you remember earlier when I was talking about Old Town, I mentioned that it was the seat of the Citadel where people go to learn to be maesters. Alaras, or Sorella, is in Old Town forging links to a maester's chain. When we see her, she's already forged three links. Now, this is similar to what Ober and Martell did, but she's also there to learn the secrets of the maesters and has worked her way in to the inner circle, so to speak. Although Sorella, like her sisters, isn't a major character in the book, I still think she's incredibly interesting and her story hasn't even panned out yet in the book, so I'd like to see her in the show at some point. Even if it's not in season five, I really hope they'll end up casting her. Maybe they've already cast her and they're just not letting us know yet. It would be the type of thing that I would expect to see her as Alaras first and it be kind of a reveal type thing to figure out that she's Oberyn's daughter. So this wraps up my topic discussion video on the Sand Snakes from the books to the show. Even with the changes to Tyene, I'm really excited to see the Sand Snakes in action as well as Dorne in general in season five. If you're new to my channel, I do all sorts of content on Game of Thrones and now that season five is about to start, I'm gonna start ramping it up. So there's gonna be all sorts of character spotlights, epic 
history videos, topic discussion videos like these, as well as full-length review and recaps for each episode of Season 5 when it starts airing. If you like this video, definitely check out my Oberyn Martell character spotlight, as well as my epic history video for Marine and Slaver's Bay, as well as a mini character spotlight for Strong Bellwas. Even check out some of my older Game of Thrones videos, though the ones tagged as old are admittedly a little less quality than the newer ones. Anyway, hope you guys like this video on the Sand Snakes. I hope you learned something new about them that you didn't know before. And if you already knew everything about them, I hope you're excited to see them and the rest of Dorne in Season 5. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Take it easy, guys.